you know the password. So, um, you must be on an acquaintance of Don Pianta. Good for you. So then she will unlock the door. Here's the cool fact about this boo. Her sister works at the... The... What is it called? Oh yeah, it's the parlor. He works, she works at the parlor next building. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too jolly today. If you got beef, spit it out. Quick, or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You wanna... You want me to give you a ticket for dub limp? See now, to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you oughta be. Like Chris Rock. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want I should run this bum out on a rail, boss? Look at him. What a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Do they say this to everybody who comes into this office? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just come to a talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You guys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for Dublin. Out with it. What's that? You wanna help some broad that got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about the ancient treasure? Finny are such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Um, excuse me, but uh, that's not true. The treasure is real. Honest. Everybody just shut it. Shut it. I don't care if the cr treasure is real or not. Get me? But I tell you, I didn't ha can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get a blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Sure, we can do anything. What is it? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. I like less than, less than nothing. See, that thing is, my own daughter, eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They oughta still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francisca, and this Frankie, and bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall sell this matter quickly, and with what is known as extreme prejudice. Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Finney's right. Leave it to us to find Francisca. Quiet, you! It's cause you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dope ain't making complaints about my suspicion. C decision, sorry. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You're the boss. Boss. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understand for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francisca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. When he said less than nothing, he really was, wasn't was joking, because it's really easy to find them. If they want to leave Roqueport, probably the only place they're going to go is to the dock. Just think of the most... Let's see. So they're... They're boyfriend and girlfriend. So... What would be their most romantic place to go? Well, let's see. Out to sea. 
That's correct. So where would you go? The dock, of course. So they are here at the dock. And we're actually just in time to find them. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something? Or do you just like sealing up to people? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know. And the boat's coming any minute. Dollface. Maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to, to you if we do, do that? Francisca, baby doll, if we can just talk to come like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie, let's run to the ends of Earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to burn out the flames of love, the harder they burn. And I wouldn't know that because I never dated before. Not yet. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion. No one! Don't you see, mister? I beg you. Pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? So if you want to be nice, then say of course, and then cry. Or you can say no way, sob sister, to humor them. But of course... I'm a nice guy, so I'm gonna say, yeah, the positive. Oh, thank you, thank you, you're swell, mister, you're a real stand-up guy. But the problem is, what are you gonna do? Are we gonna avoid your luck turning terrible, whatever that means? Um, what should we do? I mean, I guess we should go tell Don Pianta something. But I, I don't want our luck to turn terrible. Whatever that means. So you have no choice but to head back to Don Pianta. Let's see if you can come up with a way to avoid getting your luck turned terrible. Oh, look who's come back. The proverbial mustache. You gonna bright my mood? So Gib, what do you got? You know the whereabouts of these two runaways? Uh, I can't tell you that. If you want to stay true to your word, then, then go with the negative. Here. What? I must be going deaf. Did you just say it to me that you couldn't tell me? You come waltzing in here and say that to me? To me? Do I look like a sucker to you? I warned you, wise guy. Fine, we're gonna need a mop to pick up what's left of you. Daddy, wait! Francisca! Boss, forgive me, boss. I I'm sorry, I truly I am. Frankie, so back you came to head hung low and whip your tail between your legs. Sounds weird when they walk. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said it, said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said he, we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen. I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All to blame right here. Daddy. Boss. Yarg! Enough. Quiet. Both of you in that freaking hurt my throat. Francisca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your, your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie. You were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel so disappointed in you two. It's like a poison tree in my gut. 
Daddy. Boss. I don't ever want to see you mugs again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where. Just go. That's what you expect me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do what you want. Even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy. Dad. No, wait. I mean, boss. What? Sometimes they do it, they do it with guys, with the hearts. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman, I promise you. She'll want for... She'll want for nothing. Enough already. Just go, go. And he cries quietly. Sam man still has a heart. Francisca, seeing you just happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of yous. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turn out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell and thank you. So you can still talk to him. You still here? Huh. Well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. Who knew? That guy's got her smiling ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Yeah, I knew you were, were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. But yep, here we go. Off to Glitzville. Let's go get that third crystal star. Wow, we did, Mario. We can go to Glitzville. What was your first clue? I'm gonna ignore the email for now. So you go north here to the train station. This blimp goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us for flight today? Ah, please let me check your boarding pass. And please watch your step as you step aboard. By the way, that guy's name is Stuart. You know, like Stuart Little. Here we are, off to Glitzville. This is what luxury feels like. What the heck? Mario is driving it? That's weird. He's just, just a passenger. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory. So begins the third chapter of the game. I don't think music like this will really play while you're up in the sky. Finally, we're here. Now that just takes forever. Whoa, those are huge balloons. We arrive at Glitzville at the last minute of the video. Welcome to Glitzville. Um, yeah, this would be Glitzville, right? How do we make it float? I mean, it hasn't, wasn't ever, you know, plunged from the sky or anything, has it? Well, let me explain, Coops. They use, like, these propeller things to make it fly. Actually, it's hard to explain. Time to hunt down the crystal star, huh, Mario? I know I'm ready. I think, like, under Glitzville is probably, like, some kind of jet, jets or something. Well, thank you for watching this episode.